Hi guys, Simon here. Episode 2. A and Knock. Two girls journey to the dark side. This is only going to be a two-parter, I've decided. And you'll see why. A and Knock. They've now a good year in Bangkok. Time to move. They've spoke to other girls. A and Knock haven't been in Bangkok. They haven't been with customers that have taken them on holiday or done anything like that. But they've heard stories that wealthy customers can take them on trips and give them lots of clothes and jewellery. They want to learn this side, they want to know how they can make even more money. What's missing in Bangkok? Some people in Bangkok get lucky but they haven't. They've met a girl who said Phuket. A lot more foreigners and a lot more money and there's the beach and the sea. This is what the girls have never been there. They've never been to the sea, the beach. They jump on the bus, pack up, pay the room off, everything finished, leave the bar, rucksacks, probably got a couple of rucksacks by now. They get on the bus, they should have flown, oh my god that bus. 12, 13 hour journey to Phuket, overnight bus, so they arrive in Phuket, early doors, 8, 9 in the morning. Um, the one girl they spoke to told them, get a room in Phuket City town, Phuket town, Phuket City, outside of the tourist bit, it's much cheaper. And they had a number, but they, they hit into the town, old town, and uh, wander around. Eventually, after a few hours wandering around, they find um, some other girls that are working in the beer bar there, and they've given them some phone numbers they found a room um, 5,000 baht smaller room than Bangkok but it's fine for now it'll do they can get a bus from the city the old town over to Patong the main beach area in Phuket the main red light district so they get the room put the stuff in there now they've got to go and see have a wander around first visit to Phuket, the beach. They're not in a rush, they're gonna have a couple of days walking around, finding out where everything is, and enjoying the beach and the food. And they do, they spend a couple of days into Patong Beach, had a look up at Karen, at the beaches. They found where the bars, they found the go-go bars. But there's more beer bars than and there's less go-go bars in Patong. So they decide they're gonna try a beer bar first and they go and have a chat with a beer bar, big one. Land the job, no problem, good looking girls. They start next day, um, given some uniforms, usual. Salaries, probably five, six thousand baht and they start and they soon realize that they have done so much work in Bangkok that they are better than the other girls at talking to customers, dancing. They've got a knack. Their training they've done is paying off. They are a higher grade girl. Straight away they're starting to become hits in the bar and the customers are paying more in Phuket. The girls are earning more, maybe not huge, you might maybe 5,000 baht a day, but they're earning more. Still no trips away, it's all local stuff, it's all one day, maybe two days with the customer staying around Phuket. They can't work out where's these special guys that take them on holidays and weeks away, where's those golden eggs? Anyway. They stay in Phuket for six months, work hard, try the go-go bars, they're still earning good money. They're saving hard, working hard. Now, Nock starts to get the taste a bit for the alcohol, uh, more than A. And this is not really good. But anyway, they decide, okay, next stop, we're going to Koh Samui. And they do, they move over to Samui, find a room, start around the bars good money again 
still no trips what's going on that's a couple of years in and they're just not getting the trips but they're getting great money day by day learning more every day but everywhere they go and work they're straight away the top girls because their work ethic I don't know they're just really good Knock though is starting to go down the slippery road of drinking more and more this starts causing arguments between them sadly and more and more and it's getting to the stage where A is saying to Nock look you're drinking too much I can't you know it's time we've spent so much time together I think it's time we go our own ways and they decide okay that's it they break up their partnership Nock goes back to Phuket and she has a room drinks a lot more she's earning good money she's still saving but she's getting drunk more A on the other, on the other hand decides she's heard of the stories of Patea she's drawn to there maybe that's the place where she's going to get the holidays and she goes up to Patea bus all the way up to Bangkok down to Patea has a wander around gets very lucky she finds a bar in um, Soy 7 and they've got a couple of rooms upstairs where the girls can stay free oh this is perfect the Mama San really nice Mama San and A and the Mama San hit it off and she gets a job but she's only on 3,000 baht a month free room though that saves her a thousand or a bit and it's a beer bar okay it's a start but in this beer bar she immediately becomes top girl top dog and straight away the customers are different they're falling for her they want to take her away for a week's holiday in different parts of the country and she's learning again no no problem at all off she goes weeks holiday bar fine for a week good money every day from the customers customers are starting to buy her clothes and jewelry and they're falling for her she pretty quickly makes her mind up that she's not going to get involved with a foreigner long term she doesn't want that she wants her own business in the future she wants to get out of this trade in the future she's going to save hard and work hard she starts making her own little rules up that she'll only go with customers maybe once and not get too friendly but she'll get two or three customers a day and really start banking the money she's got a great manager in this bar as a foreigner really nice foreigner great guy easy to talk to and he doesn't touch any of the girls in the bar really good bloke what's his name oh yeah Simon hmm so there's the little twist. Um, a, yeah, that's Apple. Knock. Knock is Knock's real name, but I call her Kirby. Knock leaves Phuket. She's lost touch with Apple. She finds herself into Patea and she finds herself at a bar called the FLB bar that's where she starts her antics and her path really down the dark side Apple clever girl lots of stories to come about Apple and Kirby sorry knock <laughs> that is how Apple and knock came to be working in the dark side how they came from the villages to end up in Patea. This is a, such a similar story to so many girls, how they end up in the trade and the path they take. True, pretty much. Apple, you know about now. Kirby, you know about Knock, you know about. That was their journey. And uh, hopefully, some of you now can understand how the girls get into the trade. Here we go, that's it. Two-parter.
the backstory actually, you should have called it the backstory of Apple and Kirby, how they got to where they are to then. Hope you enjoyed it. I will do some Apple and Kirby stories. In fact, I have filmed one already. Kirby Trouble, I think I've called it. But there's a few more to come on those. The ones of you looking for the love stories, so much happening at the moment, I will start within the next week, hopefully, the next love story. Can't promise it'll all be happy endings. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little two-parter. And I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.